Not that it's a big deal. I don't really care about reading them on stream. There's like a million p bugs they fixed. But there's so many that I, I wouldn't like. I don't know if I'd be able to say, oh, something went wrong in uh, in the game. Oh, I thought they fixed that. Or whatever. Would the 2001 theme get copyright struck? 2001? You mean um, the uh, the classical music they used in 2001? Almost certainly, yes. <laughs> Zaratustra? Yeah, something like that. Some of those letters. Uh, okay. Creative Commons recordings of that? It doesn't matter, because they have the same or a similar enough peak file. It doesn't matter. It'll. You can use the... Uh, trust me, I've done this and have learned... It doesn't matter if it's uh, a different recording, because it sounds similar enough that the system will... Copyright strike it anyway. Settings. Game of play. Max persistence debris. Uh, what did I want to see? Um, it does say borderless, but it's definitely not. Anti-aliasing off. Why is that off? We can at least do four, right? Well, should I, should I go 8x? Yeah, let's go 8x. Everything else is on high. Why is that off? Oh, they changed this menu so that it applies automatically. There's no apply button. Even though the score is public domain, that doesn't matter. The score is public domain. Individual recordings are individually copyrighted. But the problem is that each individual recording sounds similar enough that the system, which looks at like peak files, to like just take a, a easy snapshot of this, the sound and compare it to the thing they are trying to compare it with. They're similar enough, it doesn't matter. That's the problem. Yeah, and, the, and there's no like, I would really like it if YouTube was just set up in such a way that, oh, I could just license some music and pay a fee or like a 5% of the ad revenue or something. But why would they ever do that when they can just claim the video and take 100% of the revenue? Or, fifth, well, not 100%, 60% or whatever. Or 55 or whatever YouTube is giving me. Technically. Any news on when the new system will start? Uh, I don't know. Never, probably. Okay, anyway. Settings. What do I do? Go back here? Boop. V vessel unavailable. That's a good way to start. Load. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to mess with this today. The lead skis. How do I go? I want to leave this building. None of those are clicks. Okay, um, what about, I guess I gotta click the radar, zoom, Kerbal. Okay, so we'll probably um, either try to make stuff to like a space station in orbit or try to assemble some sort of vessel to go somewhere else in orbit. 
I guess I don't have anything else in space. We did launch a few things, but I think I deleted the debris. Uh, whatever. I think I had something left on the moon. Because it crashed. Maybe I deleted that. I don't know. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, now how do I leave? How do I leave? Ah. Okay, uh, we'll go back in here. Oh, they also said... Here, let's just test this real quick. Middle mouse button goes up and down. This is something I definitely knew was, like, not working. If you were making a plane... Whatever. And this thing was oriented horizontally. Middle mouse button still went up and down. So let's go left and right. Ah. It's kind of weird, though, because... Well, you see the mouse cursor? That's what I'm doing with the mouse. I'm using middle mouse click to go up and down. Left and right still orbits. Why can I not just, like, move the camera around in a free manner? It's so weird. Up and down goes left and right, but left and right turns left and right. Okay, anyway. Um... So, we'll send stuff up, ideally, in stages, and we'll try to make some sort of rocket system that can just put stuff in orbit. I know there's fairings. I didn't mess with the the, the uh, customizable fairing stuff. I did try the cargo bay briefly and had issues with it. We'll maybe try that again, too. Some trusses. Just like its namesake, Little Neck Protective Fairing is strong for its size. Oh, that's real small. Okay, so how does this work? Right click, Fairing Enabled. Injection Force, Deploy Type. Oh. Oh, I see. Shroud. Are we creating a gas station? Maybe. Middle click on a part to recenter camera. Yeah, but I, I would just like to be able to move around more freely, especially when a, a, something gets bigger and you're trying to look at a very specific spot. I don't know why there's no like free movement option. Or if there is, I don't know why I can't do it. All right, uh, let's make. I think this is this is going to be way too small. Let's get a reference. Um, yeah. So what is even that going to fit? Like a tiny probe? Whoa, that's big. Extra small. What would you even put in there? The super tiny... This thing... Maybe would f oh, okay. That's Xenon. Okay, come here. So that... It sort of did a fairing. But only on the engine. Oh. What's that? What am I doing? <laughs> what is this? Am I... It's adding extra ones? So I just made it bigger. I guess. Okay. But... Alright, let, let me just make this a tiny little vessel thing. So it needs, I guess, a battery. It's got a little engine doodad. Um, what? Oh, this is annoying. This hasn't changed. What? 
when I open and close things, I, I would really like them to stay the way I left them. Extra small. Do, 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 do. And then I guess the monopropellant. Is that what I just added? Fuel tank, monopropellant. Are those really the only monopropellant? Oh, that's gigantic. Okay, I get maybe we don't need monopropellant. I just need like uh, little reaction wheels or something. Or man, might not even do that. I'll just put a control probe on it and call it today. It's not even a real ship. I just want to fiddle around with the fairing. Uh, okay, I need a control probe thingy. Sure. And then I guess a little solar panel, whatever. And it is um, it's a probe, so I guess it needs some sort of communication. Oh my god. There. I guess. What does this one look like? I guess that one extends, huh? Alright, I'll put that one in there. Boink. I right click. Communicatron. Antenna extended. Zip. Zip. Okay. Uh, so we got a little thing. Stick it in there. I guess. Close. Oh. Wait, what, what did I do there? What's happening? Ooh. Okay, maybe uh, maybe the game... I'm pretty sure I downloaded that patch. What is... What is <laughs> uh, okay. It's doing that. I don't know why. Whoop. Whoop. Wow. Oh, okay. So there's different... Cannot accept changes. Phoenix collided with invalid assembly. What? What do you... Oh, over here? Just to see inside. Okay, uh... Get rid of that. Okay, I, I think I kind of get it. Alright, so... This is one section... I can make it, like, the right size it needs to be. Why can't I move that? Because oh, that thing's open, that's why. So that fits in there. Okay. Then I put a second one on. And then this one, I do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then another section, and I close it. I make it a cone. There. Something like that, I guess. Uh, but it doesn't... It's not closing, or is it going to close on its own? Is it... Hmm. Am I doing that? Oh, and then it... it uh, okay, it put a... Put a cone on itself. All right, so if I grab this thing... <laughs> working as intended. Cool. 
Uh, okay, I kind of get it. So if I... Oh my god, right-click on this thing. What's shroud? That means... No divisions? I don't know how it comes off. Three times. Comes apart in three pieces. Four times, four pieces. Right. Right, right. I need a decoupler for the ship. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, bearing enabled, turn off. What's a stack separator? Radial decoupler. Stack decoupler. I get those and docking ports. What's the separator? Decouplers separate. What's the difference? Jettison whatever's attached to both sides of it. So you just have a ring left over. Why would you... They, they break away from both sides. Why would you care about that? That's just like extra debris. Uh, okay, so we'll put a, I guess this one, on there. That, on there. Uh, this doesn't, I'm not going to give it a parachute. This is the fairing. What is this? The fairing, I guess open the fairing there. This is the engine for the ship. Okay, uh, plus one. I guess that one. Oh, look. Did you see that? There was visible feedback that I was moving something. Remember, I complained about this. This is one thing I was complaining about. I'm not sure if I'm actually dragging something. Now there's at least a little bit of feedback. Okay, so you wouldn't want to open the fairing first. Like that. Okay, uh, coupling fuel crossfeed. Bearing enabled. Oh my god. Okay, I want to edit the size a little bit. Can I go back to these parts? Apparently not. What am I doing? Why is it doing this? I'm hitting the negative to like... <laughs> is this how it builds things? Okay. Now we go all the way down. Alright. I guess I have to do it... Uh, build the thing and then create the fairing around it later. Okay. So we have a bearing guy. Stack separator is good for putting on top of a docking port so it can be redocked to. Can you reconnect to a stack separator after the fact? Is that what you mean? Otherwise, if it's just a docking port, oh, I guess if you're launching a ship, maybe you want something stronger than just a docking clamp. Okay, so we have that... Uh, let's put, I just want to make, this is just like a test rocket to figure out the, I want to mess around with the fairings themselves. So, we'll do... Something like that. Methalox. Small. Swivel. Mm -hmm. 
three, three, five. Where's um breast weight ratio? Point three. Two. Okay, that's bad. That's better. That'll do. What's this thing look like? Oh, radial. Or like a lander. Probably. The dart. Arrow spike. I remember using these things on Eve because they're good at, uh, I guess, low... They're good at um, in thick atmosphere. Okay, where is my... Let's do a stack decoupler. Go there. And then I'll do... do, 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 do. Let's try to remember where things are. Structures, I guess. Something a little bigger down there. A pretty simple, straightforward ship. We'll put a rocket on it. Guess that would be medium. A bone antenna from his hand and conjure your dead mod. Is that an Ad Astra reference? The estranged dad part sounds like it. I don't remember the rest of that. Although I don't really recall much from that movie because it was super boring. Thrust to weight, 0. 0.6. That's uh, this one, the skipper. Vacuum. Six hundo, max thrust. This one is less, but it's got two engines. Yes, yeah, very low power. Maybe more efficient. In a vacuum, 340 ISP. Yeah, a little bit better, but not great. Oh, here we go. Oops. There we go, 1.5. No, not at Astra. Oh, okay. I haven't really messed around with the color scheme stuff. I don't even know where to do that. I guess it's not here. Parts manager. Trip planner. Okay, so we got some uh, decouplers anyway. Let's look for some boosters. Solid fuel booster. Won't be controllable. Uh, this thing has gimbling. Why wouldn't it be controllable? Oh, 
Oh, those things are gigantic. Too small. These things are maybe about the right size. Can't you escape Minmus in a jetpack? Uh, probably. Okay. That, uh, you want to snap? Would you like to go on the spaceship? Alright, and then we'll... Let's actually, um... Move those down a bit. Uh, I guess I gotta move the clamp down. Now they're off-center. Oops. Oh, man. All right, where do I do the... paint job stuff? Oh, color manager. Found it. Select new colors. Assembly or part. Okay, so we can do like overall changes. Boom. Did nothing. Okay. Um, this raw. Oh, there we go. Purple. What is that? An opacity slider? Boink. I've seen uh, I've seen some people make ships that look very metallic. Maybe they just look metallic. Yeah, I guess it, they're just that's just the material. And I couldn't tell because I just had like a uh, typical white color thing. I don't know. I don't really... What what color should it be? Black? Black. Black is your heart. Just invert them. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, anyway, uh, launch! I didn't do a launch structure. Am I ready to fly? Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Blah, bleep, bleep. What's this? That goes there. Oh, this needs to be down there. Oh, I didn't put any struts either. Could be an issue. Sixty-four bid bear. Thanks for the job. Ninety-eight months. Wow. Wow. We are speed. 
we intend to fly the rocket and not have it flip. Oh no, easy there. Oh, it's sort of um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, a little bit flip. Hey, and the boosters don't care about your throttle. Up is that way, thanks. Frame rate looks better. It's a bit better. Okay, I need to fix... Uh, this goes down there. Camera down, please. Wait, what? Are you... Is it like rearranging all of my... Okay, those, then get rid of the boosters. I guess I, I didn't do any separate trials, could do that too. If I can find them. What's this do? What's that button? Group by... Is it just reversing the list? Rover? It's just reversing the list, okay. <laughs> uh, whoops, that's uh... Where do those go? Down there. Put those there. Get rid of that. Okay, so boosters. Main engine. Lose the boosters. Then lose the main engine for stage. Fire the next rocket. So this is the fairing. Yeah, it screwed up all my stuff. I had it in a specific order. You predict boosters crashing into the main. Why? So, okay, so we're flying this thing around. At some point, I want to, I guess I want to get rid of the fairing. Then we can separate this guy and then fly that. Okay, that, I think that's fine. Uh, let's we can put some like aerodynamics on this guy. Stabilizers, control surfaces, medium. Oh, these are big. Look at those guys. The huge. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Meow, meow, meow. Is that? No, it's not straight. Of course not. Okay. Boom. Did they fix a bug where the decoupler and this engine of, on same stage wouldn't detach? Uh, I, they fixed a whole bunch of bugs. Some were about that. Uh, I, I don't know specifically. The list is so long, I can't remember everything on it. There's like a, literally a, like a hundred bugs they fixed. So I don't know. Okay, and I think what I also want to do... 
Uh, I had to rotate this 90 degrees off of the launch pad. I wonder if I can just rotate it 90 degrees first. Let's launch it once more. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Quite responsive now. The boosters are sort of like on the wrong side. Whoa, okay. Wibbly wobbly. Is my thrust like too high? My thrust to weight ratio might be ridiculous with these boosters. Whoa. Okay. Game, if you could stop that, that would be... There we go. Thanks. Wow, very responsive. Go this way. some struts on that the upper bit or whatever between the upper and the lower bit This is going to look a little different now. Create a maneuver plan. Go away. Where did it go? Did it create it? Or did it, like, want to give me a... Oh, okay. Can I see the periapsis, please? Oh my god. I, I need to see this number. 40,000. Okay. Uh, maneuver node's not fixed. This number should just be visible. This is an important number to have. I have to click off of it. Okay, still, still incredibly annoying. It does look a little bit cleaner. But uh, still super annoying. And does it tell me start burn in 34... No, start... Start burn in a minute. It's a 34 second burn, I guess. That is not going to be around orbit. That'll put me in the orbit, though. Uh, if we go like, no, we want to go like this, maybe. 90 and 120. Start burning 30 seconds. 120. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, that'll do, I guess. Oops. Um, exit the map. And we want to go to maneuver. Oh, it's having a hard time rotating. Do have electric charge. I didn't put any reaction anything on this, and we might have to use the rocket to uh, rotate. Yeah. Right click on PE to lock it. It should just be there by default. Why is that like a hidden thing? Huh. 
Okay, okay. not circular, but uh, orbit. Got no orbit. Do, 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 do. Okay, um... I guess I'll just delete that later. Instead, of, I didn't have a. I don't have a way to deorbit it. Now we got this thing. Maybe we'll send this to. Have quite a bit of extra fuel, huh? Why? Time warp? How about a maneuver node? I'm seeing... Oh, is that because... What's the blue one is not me? Am I the blue one or not? This is me, right? It's changing again, probably. Yeah, it might be like a quick fix. Oh, I still have... Okay, I guess we can delete that, right? Which is that? Okay. Whoop. Now I created a maneuver. Boink. Brump, 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 brump. Okay, that's the wrong way. Woo -woo 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 -woo, I think. Uh, that gets me kind of close. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do that. Sure, good enough. Uh, can you rotate now? No, because you didn't. I didn't put any uh, rotational nothing on there, so we'll just use the gimbal, I guess. Start burn in three minutes. Lack of stellar exposure. Okay, my maneuver node is over there. There, I need to like gimbal to get over to it. Whoop! Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay, so I'm the blue one currently. Trying to get to the orange one. Pretty close. Trash.
I'm streaming at 900p. Am I playing it? No, I'm playing at uh, 1440p. Okay, there goes the planet. Where is it? There it is. Okay, here we come. You could stop rotating the camera, please. Woo! Oh. We entered the camera. Flipped around. Uh... Moon? We're not there yet. Where did it go? Camera is, uh... Oh, there it is. Fighting me a little bit. Do I have any solar panels? Yep. Uh, oh, no. I do on the... the it's inside the fairings. <laughs> so technically, yes. It's just... I just threw this together really quick. I just wanted to fiddle with the fairings before working on something that would take longer. We have uh, we full, have full electric charge already. Should be fine. I'll have to... I don't have any reaction wheels or RCS, so I'll have to burn to rotate to retrograde. To get into an orbit. There we are. Bing bong bing. Lack of stellar exposure. I wish it would stop giving me those dumb warnings. Who cares? Alright, that's good enough. Uh, so I want to go retrograde. Is it going to rotate for me? Yes, nice. If I just throttle up slightly. Good. Boink. Where is the moon? There it is. Found it. Whoop. Stop. Stop. The uh, buttons. Okay, we made it. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Base retrograde. Boom! Fairing's gone. Separation. Uh... Can I not control this? I had. Oh, I did I not deploy <laughs> the, uh... Control from here. No comnet connection. I didn't deploy the. <laughs> I didn't deploy the uh, antenna. I think. Or is it because we don't have line of sight with the ground? No, we do. Uh, 
I have an antenna, I just didn't deploy it. Now what? Can I communicate now? What's going on? It's still not giving me control. Or at least not with these. Oh, I can... Okay, I can rotate it, apparently. Okay, um... Stop. I do have control, I just can't use these for some reason. It's my... Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I guess we need RCS and or, or reaction wheels or something. Can I turn SAS? I guess so. Oh, I, it should have a little bit built in, right? Oh, now I have it. Is that because I didn't have SAS on? Oh. Huh. Okay, well, there's no atmosphere, so as long as we're above, like, that, we're fine. Escape doesn't leave the map. The rotation feels very slow. Like, I'm moving my mouse really far, and it's not rotating much. Are we trying to land with the ion engine? No, no, I'm just... Uh, I just wanted to test the like the, the they're not procedural the 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 fairing the customizable fairings are we getting let's see where's the we're in the sunlight right and there are solar panels right there is it because this is on is it burning charge too let me turn sas off see if, if i if i just fast forward we get some charge back. Not directly facing it, but it is getting hit. My Delta V, 13,000. Not bad. Fifty-one percent exposure. Oh, it is going up, just slow. Okay, uh, so the fairings work. Hooray. We can make something a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, how do I... I want to go back to the VAB, or the Space Center. I, uh, I deorbited the, um, the remains of the, the second stage. Well, this one's still in orbit. I guess we can just delete this. In in the long run, I'd like them to to build it so that they I can deorbit them. But uh, for now, I guess we'll just uh, deorbit things manually. Uh, I did have a the the second stage should have crashed into the moon at some point. I don't see a debris, so I don't know if it deleted itself. Or maybe you have to zoom in real close. Real, uh, real cl oh, wait, there's this in orbit Kerbin. Focus. Focus. It's not focus. Maybe that's because I already deleted that. Do you really wish to destroy debris? Yes. Uh, 
the moon. Should this not show that I've got a satellite? Like, where's this in this list? Tracking screen is buggy. Right click on the panel. Do I need this drop down? Default name five. Can I look at it? I guess if I go to control, it'll zoom me in. Zoop! Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. All right. Um. So we'll make something bigger now. So I think we're gonna want some kind of. I would like to try these um, hydrogen engine and tank systems. So we'll make something that can, like, we'll make a a ship that can, like, go from orbit to some other planet wherever we want to go, and then we'll uh, we'll dock to it a, like a lander, I guess. That is a lot of fuel. Boink. Eight thousand delta V. Um, okay, so this, let's see if this is probably not any different. The trip planner, if I go, does it just reverse the thing again? If I'm going curb in to bop, yeah, you go to this, decelerate to land on the surface, and then it just reverses everything to get you back, which is not actually how it works. It doesn't take into account, um, atmospheres. But if I wanted to see the delta V from Kerbin, low orbit, then you leave Kerbin. Actually, let's go to um, what's the farthest thing away, Drace, or? Elu? I forget. Um, I want to see the... The map. Elu is the Pluto... Oops. Okay. Dragon Station. This one. Elu. Drace is uh, the asteroid belt one, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's say we're going to Elu, which is far away. Or I guess Moho is kind of the same because it's close to the sun. But uh, we'll do Elu, just just for like a ballpark. Your flight... No, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, man. Uh, don't. Space Center. I guess that was controlling... It was still controlling the... Um, Satellite. Okay, so... Like, uh... Almost... It's like 5,500... 6,000... From orbit, this will have other stuff attached to it, so it won't be 8,000. And I guess you would want it to come back, too. Theoretically. Oh, we wouldn't, we wouldn't need the, the, uh, the lander would do this part, the down to the surface. So we would need to get there like 7,000 and then another 7 to get back. 
more or less. That might not be exactly right, but let's ballpark. Because it, it doesn't give me more information than that. I need a fuel tank. So this is, uh, oh, this is a bigger one. All right. Fourteen thousand. The thrust to weight is not great. This weighs twenty-two tons. This weighs fifty-six tons. Nice. Oh, it's got to be that one, right? It, was, it looks so wacky. Just add more tanks. It is that easy. It's true. The uh, thrust to weight ratio is pretty low. These are the only engines that burn hydrogen, is this and this. Uh, and this weighs 10 tons. A non Diablo stream. I thought about trying it out. I, I think the art direction is certainly better, but I don't trust Blizzard anymore. 22 tons, 56. What, what did this say for trust to weight? 14k. Uh, for the Delta V. If I did want to do two of those, how would that even work? I don't think there's an adapter for that kind of thing. Uh, and I'm not sure how to... Like, if I built something with a... Previously, when I wanted to ha have a double set of engines, I would do that and then connect the two. But if I want two connected to that... And there's, like, I don't know, some truss or whatever they connect to... That's going to look terrible. Look under structural. That's where I is. There's these, but they're not. Wait, what is that? It's just a cone. These are um, just big enough to hold one. These are really for... If you want less than five, you can have like three or something. That's what I, yeah, that's what I just had. Perfect. <laughs> I gotta make a thing out of hubs. But then... like, Okay, yeah, but if I had, like, this and that, is that gonna connect the fuel through to that? How 
How much does this weigh? Four tons. That's fairly light for how big it is. It connects fuel. Oh, it could be this one. Hub. Truss. XL. We, I guess we need L, not XL. Okay, um... Through that. There's no symmetry with the hub, I guess. Can't have like two coming off of that. This does indeed look a little silly. Uh, okay, for now, you know what, we're, uh, let's just go with the medium, the one, medium, the, uh, the less ridiculous one. And maybe we'll, uh, connect, okay, we'll start with a hub. I need to, okay, we need to be able to send this to space, uh, to orbit with, like, a certain size fairing. Oh my god. Why are you open these back up? So like that's the size. How much is that? We need to send 30 tons to low orbit. That's a lot. But doable. Um, or, or maybe we could try to just send like the whole core in one go. I was going to try to do like one size fits all and send multiple parts up. But that would be a little bit more fiddly if I had to like... We could send this up. What's the medium look like? Maybe I could make a core. Uh, uh, uh. Um, maybe I'd have the tanks on the outside of the core. Jacking port. Large, no, medium. Medium. Why is it not making two when I have the symmetry on? It does when I do that, but as soon as I click it to one of the ends, it only does one. It's like I've got to have a, another one. Is that facing the right way? Is there a wrong way? They... I think they're both... Yeah, okay. I don't know which way is the right way. That looks like there's a little handle. So that would make it the inside or the outside? I'm not sure. If you were going to connect to it for, uh, externally... Are these little... Are these little, like, anchor points? Okay, let's say that... Let's go with that assumption. Oops. Okay, then if I had another one there, it would connect like that, I guess. All right, that's my main ship. Well, I can make this again. Uh, let's just test that real quick. Launch. Not be control. Oh, cancel. All uh, right. 
odd. They're backwards now, are they? How am I supposed to tell? Can I not undock these manually? Well, there's no... Okay, it's not... Okay, uh, revert to VAB. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's try all the way around. Uh, take that off. Auto orbital. Perfect. Oh, I thought they fixed this bug. Apparently not. Undock. Boink. Okay. Confirm. There we go. It should really be a little more, bit more clear which side is the docking side of the docking clamp. How am I supposed to know without doing that? If you're if you're gonna dock to something, you need the little like the little hollow points for the the docking vessel to like insert the hooks into. I thought that's what that was, but I guess not. Wait, no, that one's right. It was it's right now. Right, that's right. Yeah, that's backwards from what I would expect because you're actually connecting to this one. So I guess the the hooks are here. And it's got a handle, but you wouldn't, like, manipulate that handle. Or maybe that's, like, the emergency override. I'm not sure. doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, so anyway. Um, which way is up, by the way? Is there writing on it? Does that matter? Probably doesn't matter. All right, so we can make, like, a core... Try to make, uh, like, a few things that are have, like, a max size that's sort of a cylinder. We can put a fairing around. We'll have this guy. Wait, is that even the right hub? That This guy's gigantic. Boink. Those are mediums. Okay, so we need the little handle facing out. Okay, and then... Why did you just rotate when I moved you? Now you're, tr you're like, trying to snap to this thing. Go away. Oh my god. Care. Okay, so if I grab this thing, click, okay. So I guess theoretically I could have a central control center with uh, uh, like crew, crew cabin or whatever. Is there an animation when they use the docking ports now? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't notice anything, but uh, I don't. I don't know if you're if, like if you're in that zoomed up. I haven't done any docking. I've only done undocking just to test if they work. Boink boink. So there's this size. Let's see how heavy that was. 
hub. This is a medium hub. Weighs half a ton, or you could have a big boy hub. We'd like to take this piece, please. The size sort of makes a little bit more sense, but then you could have a bigger docking port. I guess we can go big or go home, right? This is medium. We can do a large one. Figure out which side which uh which one is right. I'm gonna go with that side. What's the other side look like? Uh Got handles though. I'm gonna say that this side is the right side. I guess we could test that too, huh? I think as I flipped it, they're like. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. If I don't know if I need them to be facing exactly the same way. All right, we'll make that ship. We'll give it a pod. Auto, I, maybe because it's a hub, it automatically switches to orbital mode, which is which is a bug, which I thought was fixed. I thought I saw that in the list. But you, shh, did it work? That was problematic. Uh oh, it exploded. Try the inside one. Boom! Oh, I see. Uh, the okay. So the undocking force pushed it into the control tower and exploded. All right, but it works. It's it's facing the right way. Revert to Vabe. Confirm revert. So we'll try to make um, like a core and then maybe two fuel tanks on either side. We'll need, to, I guess we need a bigger thing. This, that, this guy can go over there. Go over there. I wonder if I can... Because that's, it's like just sort of a plate sitting on a round thing. Could use a truss or something. Can I overlay a core onto this thing? That's too big, right? That's the large. Large. That looks weird. And that weighs 1.7 tons. The truss thingies. Much less. One ton. Could be like that, I guess. At least it has some sort of support structure. Um, technically, that's connected to what? The docking clamp or the tank? The t this the docking port right now is connected to the tank. <clears throat> so we'll need to send this into space, and I'll need to be able to dock with it. I guess it'll need RCS. They'll they'll all need RCS. This is the only one. Or is monopropellant uh, designed to be a large RCS thruster? Surely there's other RCS thrusters. Why is... There, but that's the only one in the list. Oh, there's heat shields. But they don't do anything yet. I think. 
I don't remember those being there. Battery. Solar. We'll need solar. I might put a battery or something on it. Uh, it'll need a probe and a radio. Steel beams. Yes, I guess that's a possibility. Don't need a generator for it. Uh, put an antenna on it eventually. Oh, here we go. RCS. In utility. So there's... I guess because they're smaller. Well, that's that's quite small though for this size thing. Okay, so just as a ball, that's not what I wanted. Center of mass is about right there at the moment. Do, 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 do. Um, or I guess after this thing gets into orbit, could I use the main control to dock with it? Okay, so okay, here's here's a thought. This will be in space. We put this into orbit, and even then, if I do dock with this one, it's going to be so off center. I want the other one. Man, having these like two tanks to get two engines to like increase my uh maybe I should just have external fuel tanks instead my is my uh thrust to weight ratio will be pretty low one way or the other but that's okay with a nuclear rocket you just have a longer burn because you're in space if I was just um doing it like a linear rocket, it would be way simpler. Maybe that's just easier. For the now. This is, uh, oh, you know what? This is five. Hang on. Here's, here's a thought. I have a thought. Okay, for now, let's uh, get rid of that. Put that there. Big engine mount. Little guy. Okay, so um, right now, 0.48 thrust to weight ratio, 13k delta B. Less delta V, even though we lost weight. That's weird. That's six. Still, still lower. I guess these rocks just kind of suck. Unless you're using a much smaller vessel. I was gonna thinking maybe we just like let's just have a bunch of rockets. Yeah, even with eight, it's not as good. And our mass went up to fifty. This one's probably just the way to go. Plus, we can ditch this plate. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we'll make this the core. We'll have a lander section, or have a, or have a. I guess we're gonna have a, a, a middle core section, and then a lander section on top of that. So this thing will need, I guess that. And that. But I, I, we need to add more stuff to it. Uh, okay, so this will need... RCS. Let's look at those RCSs again. One atmosphere. Vacuum, 240. Thrust, point four. Va oh no, we're going to be in vacuum one. They're the same. This one is much stronger, huh? Yeah. 
They need to be far from the center of mass. Mm -hmm, can't really... Okay. Um, so before I add those, then, I don't know if we need reaction wheels if we have RCS. Or do I want RCS? I guess we do need RCS. We're going to put it all together. We'll just have, like, in the end, we'll have a ton of different RCS with with the full assembled guy. But we need some kind of probe core thing. Rocket go burr. Button fragger. Thanks for this sub. Command. Okay, so we need a probe core. I don't think it needs to be this giant thing, because we just need it to be a, be controllable while doc while like assembling. Like, do I need a one ton? Remote guidance unit. Max range fifty mama, fifty million meters. Low Earth orbit is like gonna be one hundred twenty thousand at most meters. I think mm was is that million meters or fifty million meters? Or is it thousand thousand? So fifty million. I guess if we need um, some kind of like one of those trusses to put things inside. Because it could be like, it could be like this one, small. And we're going to give it RCS so like the torque reaction doesn't matter. We'll need an RCS tank. Mono propellant. Er, Maggard. That's large. In charge. More train. Uh, bottom fragger. Wait, who? No, more more train. Thanks for gifting subs. Bottom round barrel. XL. Oh my god, look at that. That's a lot of monofrog. Okay, we definitely don't need that. This uh, large one is 11 tons of mono propellant. No way do we need that much. That's this one. 11 tons. No. Uh, 5 tons? Probably not. It goes from less than a ton to 5 tons. Okay, at most, five tons. I don't know how much we need to move this thing around, having not messed with it. Uh, and we need... Let's get, like, some kind of battery basic thing. I'm just going to put, like, the stuff we need here, and then we'll try to make a truss to fit it inside and stick it on top of there. Battery. Too big. 1,000? That should do. Ten tons of monoprop. Well, I, I don't know. Once we get it into space, I guess we'll, I'll have a better idea how much we need. I, mo I mostly need it just for docking to put the thing together in orbit. Then we shouldn't need it nearly as much for the finished thing. And I guess like any leftover we have, we'll use for the completed super duper guy. Uh, we need a rate. Uh, one of these communica trains. Is this one? That's just static like that. Okay. Some of these um like deploy. I'm right clicking. Right clicking. Nothing happened. Oh, because it wasn't part of the main ship. Extend. Blip. That's cool. I don't know if it fits on this one, though. I'm not sure where they would extend from. Although, I guess if it's... Uh, 
we're like inside the structure of that. Does this sort of fit inside that? The width? Yeah, sort of. Small. What's this thing do? I like the squeaks. In space, no one can hear you squeak. Does this one deploy? <laughs> wow. Such functionality. Looks like a frying pan. <laughs> insert omelet, sir. Please insert omelet. That one does not retract. Uh, all right, we can probably make these ones work then, because they're kind of neat. Oh, I didn't try the smaller ones. I don't think those move. They could just be static, I guess. Rimmer. Extend. Beep boop. Okay, uh, it's got a battery. We can, uh, let's look at the solar panels. Parachutes are for cowards. Oh yeah, lights. Don't need ladders. Zoom. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that. That's neat. Do we need that? I think we do. Okay. Uh, what other option, though? Just in case that's too big. Medium size one? Oh, same thing, but a little more reasonable. Bam. Twelve per second. Thirty-five per second. A lot lighter. Maybe we'll do the maybe we'll do these. Maybe that's uh that'll Cause this one's going to be uh, hard to fold up within the, the little truss I'm gonna put in. What about these? Blip blip. Yeah, that's too small. Not cool enough. Beep boop. Okay, we'll do these. Can't imagine docking these NAS cells. The trick is to have them lined up right before you go in for the, the merge. Uh, it's when it's when it it's simple when it works when it works it just works everything just works okay so we need something to go between the docking port and the tank to fit this stuff in it's, uh, that looks like about the right size we got a battery we got a control thingy we got antennas we got solar panels we've got an RCS tank we'll put RCS boot, uh, things thrusters on the tank. Uh, I did see, I saw like half truss things, but they're not in the structural menu. Where did I see those? Coupling? No. Dynamics. No. No. Not in the structures. Payloads? Oh, it's in the payloads. Saddle truss. 
How's a new patch? Um, I haven't flown too much. Uh, you know, superficially it seems a little better. The, the maneuver node seems a little bit better. It seems a bit cleaner. There's a, a lot of stuff to it, though, and I'm, I'm not um, sure about all of it. I just haven't done enough. More tubular. Large. For this thing, though, it would be... XL, right? Why would you want the half-size one? The, the quarter... the half-pipe. So you could... I guess you could have a fairing around it, open the fairing, but still have this structure. Is that why that's... The purpose? It is purpose that binds us. But it doesn't need... I don't need... Uh, I don't need it to be half like that. It can be enclosed. As long as the... The solar panels and the... Communication-y doodad... Radar dish thing... Isn't impinged. It is shorter, though. Have we abandoned the space? It's not abandoned. I'm just not working on it right now. Abandoned is a strong term. I would like... I don't know if this is a priority, if it's going to happen. I would like there to be some kind of way to... Uh, what's the word? Debug? The uh, the aerodynamics to like see like where the problem spots are. I don't, I don't know if aerodynamics even work exactly the same as they did in the first game. Like some kind of like heat map overlay as you're flying or like some kind of wind tunnel thing. So I can see... Oh, this bit right here is causing a ton of drag. I would, I would like to have some kind of information like that. Doesn't look like it wants me to put this inside there. Maybe that's what these half ones are for. Oops. Bloop. That's a truss. Truss adapter just goes from circle to square. Only for square to circular. Then we got resizes. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I wonder, can I... I think I've tried fiddling with these before. Can I make these... Are these, like, modular somehow? I don't... There's no wrench. Eyeball. I don't know what these are for. It says tube, but it's clearly not a tube. It's just a ring. So I don't know if I can make it a tube and change the size, but I right-click it. Oh, it's not the main ship. Now I right-click it. Length. Uh, it says fairing, deployed type, shroud. Okay, so that is a f fairing? The connection point is up there. Did I move the connection point? What if I put this in there? Alright. So that is some kind of fairing. Hmm. Is this like a procedural adapter? Or not procedural, but customizable adapter? Not sure exactly what I would do with those. Maybe it's like the um the cone adapters, but a little bit more customizable. Alright, so maybe I don't want that. We want where did I find those? Payloads? We don't need this thing in a cargo bay. Crew cabin. We don't need Oh my god, how much does that hold? There's more text there, but it gets cut off for some reason. Shift doesn't do anything. 
Uh, I'm assuming it holds 20. It's called PPD 20. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. This maybe holds 16. 16 seat passenger cabin. Hitchhiker. We'll put like something like this in one of the cores. The core thing maybe. So I guess I want that. After all. Then we take this guy and fit him like there. And then docking clamp there, sort of. Although it's floating at the moment. Oops. Ow. Okay, I'm right clicking and it's nothing's nothing nothing's coming up. This is still the ship. Right click. Come on, parts. Let me close this. There it goes. Buggy game. Right click that. Quark. Um okay, maybe I can rotate it so it like sort of fits through the gaps. What's this, uh, okay, if I remove that, what's, uh, is that the tank itself, or is there something connected to the top of the tank? Can't tell. That's the top of the tank. Okay, uh, maybe I'll put a reaction wheel just to, um, have a little bit extra space there, depending on how much, how much weight it is. Point four five, and that. And that. Or I guess, take that out, put that on top. That is, the docking clamp is just sort of floating. Um, what do I... Oh, you know what I can... Maybe the, um... Structure. Oh, these are gonna be kind of big. Like, way too big. That's almost an extra ton just to, just to do this. Whoop! Yeah, that's too much space. Uh, how do I put a top on that? Topo. This is four tons. Definitely not doing that. Hmm. I guess I would have to... Use one of these bigger pieces, but I don't want to. Maybe this is uh, where this thing has its time to shine. Oh, now that's too low. Go up there. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay, um, then I right-click this guy. But I want to make it shorter. Oh my god. There. Yeah, okay. That's that's okay. And it doesn't weigh much, right? It's uh oh, it's an extra ton. Well, currently we're sitting at 34 tons. That may be the most I don't know. It would look weird if it's just sort of floating. It is a fairing. I don't really want it to be a fairing. I don't know what else to use though. Unless we size up to the bigger docking ports. Mm -hmm. XL. Boom. B 
Big fella. They're not that heavy, so maybe it's okay. Alright, XL, why not? Does that mean I... That needs to be... Bigger? Can I connect different sizes together? That doesn't make any sense. Does that work? Aren't there adapters? There are, but they're kind of big and hug ugly and clunky. Um, these? It's uh, it's like big and tall. I just I would use the docking port. I just don't want it to be like. See how it's just floating in the middle of that truss, like that. If I could just have, like, there's a there's a truss around the outside of this tank. I would just like to have that kind of thing, just on the top, just a lid, basically. That's all I need. What trying to Oh, you know what we could do? Okay, maybe we can um, because all this stuff's gonna be kind of big and clunky and heavy. Maybe I can just make something that sort of looks okay. By using um, the beams, I guess. Truck, chass. Oh, I don't want that. Did it go off? Hmm. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, what if I mirror symmetry it? Still weird. Just to make it look like it's not floating. There. <laughs> Fixed. How much this way? Not too much. Okay, then I need another one on this side. Still looks kind of dumb. Looks kind of stupid. All this just so I can have this thing sort of uh, there. Solar panels. It'd be like that, I guess. Forty tons, no big deal. Other option is to use one of these much bigger trusses, like uh, I think it would be—is it large or extra large? Extra large, extra large. 
Maybe it could be, I guess it would be large. Put that on there. See, that fits. All that stuff is inside the truss. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'm just not sure if I can attach these things together. So if it's like that, there's nowhere for me to attach this thing in the inside, right? This is already here. I need this thing attached to the fuel tank. Are we launching satellites? No, no, this is, um, I just need a little remote, a small remote control on the fuel tank itself to connect to the main part of the vessel. Oh, look what it's doing to the docking port. It screwed it up. I'm trying to figure out how to, like, take all this stuff and socket it inside. Maybe I do, do want a cargo bay just because it'll let me put stuff inside of something. trying to do these trusses, but um, I need something on the top. I, like, if I sandwich two fuel tanks in between two trusses, that would work. Oh, wait, what the... We do the spheres? Hang on. Hang on. 4.5 tons. We're currently using this one, which is 9. And they're, they're the same. I looked, all the tanks are like the same efficiency in terms of like the amount of fuel and the, the, the weight of the empty thing. How about this idea? Oh, I think it, okay, this fixes it. And it'll like help keep the center of bal uh, gravity balance. Give me that. I can't zoom out any more than this. What's going on? All right, put that on that. Oh my God. Center on there. Then we can use that truss thing. That is the... Oh. That's a different... A different width. We'd have to use these. Which would be more fuel. Which would be more delta V. I was... Am I using this one? Which one are we using? Snap to that. Yeah, we're using the big boy. Okay. Uh, did I grab the large one instead? This is large. One XL. XL. Engine. Truss. XL. Boom. Then we can put, put this guy inside there. That should work. Um, I might change the, the uh, solar panels. Let's take those off. They're just gonna they're gonna clip through the structure, which just looks a little wonky. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess we could use a different solar panel, or I could do I'm trying to keep them off the outside. These are the medium ones. Uh, I guess they just need some form of solar panel. We could put the main solar panels on the center core part, I guess. Well, 
Or do we even need a center core? Or do we just connect this directly to... Um, we probably just connect this directly to our lander. We don't need a... We can control from... I could probably just make this the core. And it's this could have like a, a crew container in here instead of this stupid little dinky thing. Maybe we just make this the the core and we'll just uh, connect... Uh, we don't need this anymore. We can connect the, the lander to the top. That'll simplify it by a lot. You are the ship. 20,000 Delta V. Two-seat lander can. Cupola observation. Okay, the, uh, which one is which? This is the what? What is this? Labels, please. The battery? That's the battery? I can't see a Z1K, but I don't know what that means, because I don't have all these parts memorized. So is this the probe core? I'm right-clicking. I'm not sure which one is which. Uh, this is RCS. That's a stabilization thing. Yeah, maybe we'll just... Uh, okay, maybe I'll rebuild this with a crew quarters thing in mind. Parts floating everywhere, so I'll just get rid of both. Yeah, since we have this sort of like open space... You are now the ship. Four c to lander can. We do need the uh, the door to be unobstructed. Brink. So it could be in there. Or it could be this. Oh, is that too big? That's like the super duper memo gemma. It sort of, it does technically fit. 2.6 tons versus one ton. One ton. Okay, so if I wanted to add, there's there's a bunch of empty space around here. I don't have to do the inline RCS. But if this is the main vessel, we'd probably want to make sure we have a decent amount of it then. That is inline. I guess this is, is this the biggest one? No, there's also this one. That's too big. That's ridiculous. That's really big. I could just socket it up there. RCS. Or it could be underneath. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Ah. Biscuits. Crumbs. I think that would work. Oh, that kind of makes it look a little bit more of like one thing instead of made of parts. That's 11 tons of monoprop. Twice as many victims. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, then we don't need... We, I could put an antenna, but it's not nearly as important. I'll probably put one anyway, so we can communicate with KSP. This one is kind of fun, just because it, like... You can look up out of, like, every direction. Although, I don't think there's uh There's probably still not a... Cockpit cam. First person thing. Large. That's the this is the uh the airplane one. Eleven tons. Or I'd need like fifty-five fifty fifty-ish of these to, to equal the same amount of monoprop. Alright, I guess maybe we will do the inline one. Be that. How much is this one? Five tons. Wow. 
That gives me more room. I'm not sure exactly how much I would want. How much um, monoprop. And then reaction wheels. Uh, those are all in line. But if we have monoprop and RCS, I mean, do we really need reaction wheels as well? It's kind of redundant. Yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll do one or the other. If I do this bigger one, it fills this... It makes it look like one thing a little better. All right, let's just go with that for now. Uh, okay, so then... Blip, just trash these. That was, that was monoprop. This is solar panels. Could do four times symmetry solar panel. We'll probably get that to work. To fit between these bars. Nice. Oh, uh, not nice. There. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Or... I haven't tried it since we reconfigured it. There was a bigger one. That folds out. Like a butterfly. That one, I think, is too big for this the gap there it sort of looks like it's already outside of the frame because it's so huge wow oh the shininess oh I might have to get it just for the shine it's so shiny holds down Uh, oh, those angles are not. Not too helpful. It's definitely intersecting. Ah, oh, but it looks so cool so neat. Um, I guess it could be... If I go the other way... Is that floating now? So it's like out of... It's outside of the frame to begin with. I guess that looks a little bit more natural. Because it's already outside of the frame. Uh, technically, I mean, it is going through that bar, but I think it looks better. So, eh, it's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, let's find a, a, some sort of battery thingy. Uh, da -da 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 How much does this hold? 400. Don't really have room for more in line, because we already stacked it up. So, I guess we could... 4X Symmetry. 
Do we need a ladder there? Probably not. No. Definitely no ladder. So if I just put that... That gives me an extra 1,600 electrical charge, and that lander can... Has a 175, so it's, uh, it's like 18 hundo. That's probably good. It's looking pretty neat. Center of mass is right there. Okay, so then we've got a docking port there. What else will we need? Do we need anything else? Is that good? Parachute? I don't think so. Stabilizers. Can I attach these to the outside? Technically, I can put it on top of the lander can. Forty-five kilo newtons. Put that one on there, you can't even see it. Good luck getting it off of there. There. That one's sort of... There's sex. We can put it a little bit on there, won't hurt. Uh, lights. Spotlight. Narrow beam spotlight. Navigation light. These need to be like in here. Ooh. Okay, focus that. I might need to take the lander out and then put it back. That's a ladder, huh? Is there... There's not a hatch on the top of this thing. No. Oh, it's not symmetrical. There's like, this part sticks out. Those two are floating. All right, I guess we're gonna do two times. Lights. Okay, and then facing the other way. Do 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 do. There's batteries there. Hmm. Okay, let's yank the whole thing out. So I can move these up. I want it in the way of the door, though.
Orbital camera. I thought this bug was fixed. Okay, the light. What's the light key bind? V. Check, check, check. My mic died. Uh, I switched to channel 2. Let's see if it dies again. If it doesn't die again, then the problem is something in channel 1. Some connection somewhere. But uh, switching to the channels fixed it. And it sounds, sounds fine now to me, anyway. Okay, uh, lights. We got lights. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty cool, huh? Those are lights. Okay, solar panels, there's probably a keybind for that, right? I have a list of the keybinds, I don't see it. Okay, what if I just right click? Oh, that is cool. Very cool, dude. You heard a lot of clicking. Okay, so there's like the uh, interplanetary stage. Oh, I didn't put... Uh, did not put um, RCS. I was, I was trying to adjust the center of balance upwards as much as possible to get it closer to the middle before I position them. But I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's at the top or the bottom. It, it's ideally you want it like equidistant from the center of mass, but we're going to have an extra vehicle on top here, which will it'll nudge the center of mass further up. Recur revert to VAB. Confirm revert. Okay. Vessel default name lost control. What? What was that? Oops. I don't know. Uh oh. Center. Go in the middle. If I do this. Is that is that the center? Whoop! Oh, uh, shoot! <laughs> Never mind. I just move it. That's uh, close enough. Okay, RCS. Since this is a large vessel, we do have the option of using the big ones. This X. It says extra small. 250 ISP in a vacuum. 20, uh, 20 thrust. Well, this has a vectoring range. Oh, so it would be like, um... Looks like a, a speaker. Okay. 
They look kind of goofy. We're going to use this thing. Where is that trying to... It's on the outside? I guess if we do this one, it can't it can't uh, go forward or back. It can, it can only rotate and um, shift left, right. Can't it can't translate? I guess is what is that is that the word? Unless we do these. Okay. Wow. Well, maybe we do try those other ones. We got a, quite a bit of gimbling, so they could be like this. And then the opposite up there, or maybe I'd want them up here. And I can, maybe I can um, get them to, sock it in a little bit. So they're just sort of floating on the framework. Maybe put them here because of the opening in the truss. It'll make this a little fiddlier. One click, two click. One click, two click. There. I guess. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Why do they look so stupid? Is this going to Moho? It's going anywhere we want, really. Including Moho. Yeah, it looks really dumb. I can see why that's off here by itself. The other ones have shunned it. One kilonewton of thrust. One kilonewton of thrust. Twelve kilonewtons of thrust. With this huge thing, we probably want the 12. Uh, there's no... I don't know how to make it not look stupid on this big open frame. I guess I could do the same thing. It doesn't... Um... Hmm. Not sure. So it's like way down here. I would need extra ones to go forward and back. So it would have to be like... So it doesn't have um, gimbling. This one's got the thrusters to go out in four different directions. So it's very easy to use those. Like this one I would need... Those two... Uh, maybe that's not so bad. Since it's directly on the frame. All right. So that'll dock to... Actually, do we want a, such a big docking port to dock to a lander? I don't know if they can dock, uh, like if a big port can dock to a smaller port. I haven't tried that. This is a large and a small docking port dock to a large docking port. And which way is... It needs to be like that. Okay, that, that just looks stupid. What about medium? I guess this one doesn't need to be large anymore. Could be medium here too.
Okay. Uh, I guess that's good to go. Then we would need some kind of lander. So what, what should we? We should try to have like because uh, I can read the delta v. Our current vessel has a delta v of. Surely this is not accurate. Oh, I wonder. If, are these fuel tanks not connected? Because of all this, the truss in the middle. Ten tons of hydrogen. We should have more than seven. Let's see. Uh, okay, what happens to our delta V? Only goes down by two k. Seven thousand. I don't know if it's connecting the fuel tanks because there's the truss in between them. But I guess I could always do like a manual fuel transfer, I guess. Uh, our thrust to weight is low, but that's okay, because we'll be in space. This delta V surely is wrong. It's got to be wrong. This is our vessel. It's the active one. Um, let's say we want to go... I just want to land on uh, what's what's the hardest gravity wise besides Eve, um, Tylo. Yeah, that's that's a lot. We need like let's just say five six k delta V something like that in one of our lander eels, so we can work on that and have it con have it attached to this. This will probably be upside down. That'll be on the top. We are currently using this one. Boop! I guess that would work, this one. There's no um, robotic parts yet, so I can't like do. Maybe, uh, maybe before I wor worry about this too much, uh, maybe we should try to work on like a um, a launch vehicle that can take this thing into orbit. That will be quite the vessel. Oh, maybe I should save it. Okay, this is a. Um... Uh, it's a interplanetary spaceship. Zisto's interplanetary spaceship. It's Zippy. Okay, we're calling it Zippy. Zippy 1.0. Um, and this is the interplanetary part. Uh, core? Core? Core. 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 Fly unsafe. Uh, uh, Zippy core. I don't understand the workspace file name and the vehicle name. I don't think the workspace thing. It's just like, is that a folder? But it doesn't seem to display as folders with all these icons on the right. Zip. I'm just naming the same thing. Okay. That's the core. Decoupler, dude. Boom. Oh, uh, we're going to want a, the fairing thing, right? Aerodynamics. No, uh, payload, payload. We just go straight to XL. Are there XL rockets? XL 2.4, the Quahog. So the the decoupler. Boom. Do I put the fairing on top of the decoupler and then attach? 
No, I guess you want the decoupler on the inside, huh? All right, then this would go out like that. Keep going. You can... Oh, wow. We maxed it out. Okay. I'll take another. Thank you. Check. Okay, all this to there. Looks about right. There. Check. Boom. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, what is this thing? This is my rocket engine. That should be the last. That's the decoupler. This is the fairing. Yeah, why do you put that in that order? Pop the fairing, decouple the thing, fly it away. XL. Getting this thing into space might be tricky. It's a little bit heavy. 342 tons. Wait a second. 342 tons. What? How? Dry mass, 56 tons. This is 50 tons. So you're telling me that this thing... How much is this weigh? Oh, 288 tons. Oh, well, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> that fuel tank. Okay, uh... So then we need... Some ridiculous... Labradoodle. That, that's the new one, right? It's got a gimbal. Back... Uh, 650. That's not very good. Okay, stop. Whatever you, that thing you're doing, stop doing that. I turned the eyeball off. It's still eyeballing me. Stop eyeball. Eyeball disengage. Large. Mm, oh. This less like a weak one. Three, four. I guess that's slightly more efficient than these other ones. Seventeen fifty. You know, in uh, one at, in a, in a vacuum. Or forty-two fifty. There we go. Thrust to weight ratio of one point oh. Oh my god. All right. Decouple me. Nice. That that looks stupid. Can I fiddle with this one? And I, and I want the fairing. Why do you do that and not connect to the tank? Like everything else. Those are the only large ones, unless we do a, uh, a plate and do multiple rockets. This thing is quite strong, though. It weighs 15 tons. Three of these would weigh more. 
be slightly more powerful. Could do three. Where did it go? I don't know if they'd fit. They probably won't fit. Trat. Oh my god, the game is breaking. Go away. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, Alright, so we got that guy. And then I need some kind of adapter. I need like more of those tanks beneath here. Adapter is in structures. We need to go from... That's the same... That doesn't help. Hmm. I guess, all right, uh, I'm gonna have to do, the same thing underneath it, but just connect additional ones next to it, I don't think there's an adapter that big, Okay, yeah, so then... Like that. <laughs> Flawless. Boom. Thrust to weight ratio, one. <laughs> Only one. Vessel has a command pod and no parachute. Nobody cares. These nose cones are five tons. Oh my god. How heavy is this thing now? <laughs> 1900 tons. Okay. Can I even take off? Oh wait, are we all? Yeah, they're all in the same group, right? Yeah. These guys need to be slightly lower, though. Pretty close. Five? Okay. Um, there's no way this thing doesn't need stress or anything. I can't even zoom out any farther. This far out. Oh, oh no. It lets me. There's the rocket. I don't think it's going to work. Let's just give it a little testy. Why not? Okay, camera. Okay, we need struts. It's... Okay. Okay. You didn't want to be connected there, did you? Okay, I get it. Fine. <laughs> What's the... The worst thing happen is that the thing just falls apart. Not gonna work. It's gonna work. Just wait. It will work. Okay, so this, uh, I need, yeah, all four. Sure, res reset the camera too, perfect. But don't get rid of this thing with your undo. Nice job. Oh my god, the camera, please. These are still a little bit too... Uh, you know what? I could fix them by nudging them. Would be easier. I would like to adjust this, please. Where's the controls? 
Oh, they're there. I just can't see them. That's pretty good. Looks even here. I guess the, is the nose gone? Camera, can I move? Please, move, camera. The middle mouse not working. Camera. What's with these snaps? Camera, 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 camera. Might be my mouse. My uh, scroll wheel in this mouse is terrible. The only thing I don't like about the mouse. Okay. So, then... Uh, no, I'm not trying to change the... I'm trying to go up and down, but middle mouse click also changes the focus. Which is, like, really annoying. Can you not connect to your neighbor? Because it's the... Yeah, you can. Click. There you go. Okay, let's see if I can move the camera. Urgh. Okay, let's see if it falls apart on the launch pad. A quack. It did not. Will it lift off? Probably not. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is lifting off. Gonna need some boosters. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, point nine. I know. I did five. I guess I could try six. Uh, seven. Six on the outside instead of four. Look at the vectoring. Whoop. 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 Hey, a thousand meters. Yay. Oh, we needed some boosters, that's all. Or I can change this from uh, four on, on the outside in symmetry to six. Different option. Hey, now we're moving. Now we're cooking. Yeah, it's quite zippy. That's exactly how I would describe it. Uh, if you could... Ugh. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, no. I lost it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's progress. That is progress. Camera. Maybe I need to replace this mouse. This part works, but the click part is ridiculous. Although I don't have... 
always have that this much trouble. Maybe it's the game and the mouse conspiring against me. Oh, and then it resets. Oh, it's so annoying. That's okay. That's not my mouse doing that. Here, center on that. That. Get re oh no! Stop! Oh, stop doing that! I can't. This is like just a constant annoying struggle. Don't you do it! Oh my god, it did it. Ah! Why are you doing that? Okay. So. Uh, four was not enough. Six. Will surely do the trick. Perfect. 1.05. <laughs> what an improvement. <laughs> uh, what if, okay, um, what's the booster options? There's not really a cool, super gigantic booster. There's only this medium one. Hey, game, if I could s zoom the camera out, that would be cool. Sometimes it lets you. Sometimes. Oh, is it because I'm up against the wall there? Is that what's happening? Oh. Oh, so if we, uh, I would need to put separate, uh, separate, uh, not separatron, but, um, disconnected, disconnect the thingy. I just want to see the, the, uh, thrust weight ratio. What it says. 1.3. Hmm. All right, maybe it's, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go back to... Shoot. If I undo enough, can I get all my... It was... I'm trying to see if it's uh, putting the struts back. I don't see the ones up there. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if there's like a history. Oh my god, this game. I just right click. I'm trying to like rotate the camera. It puts some of them, uh, some of them are wrong. Like, what is that even doing? All right, let me, I'll just redo them then. Turns out, the game is still super annoying. Uh, focus on that tank. They are parallel. But they don't seem to... It doesn't look like they line up here because there's like this texture around there I don't see on this one. Maybe it's because of the nose cone.
How's the patch? Not sure. Are things better? Uh, I don't know. They, they've fixed so many things, and I, ha I don't have enough experience before and after to really know exactly what's better or not, if it's better at all or not. Superficially, at first, like, it sort of seems that way, but I don't know if it's just my imagination. Do 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 do. Okay, then the boosters. Big ones. Four of them. Okay, so these need to go down there. One point two. Five. I'll take it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Those don't look terribly centered, though. Um, vertically. That's the way it's got to go. I can move these up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess uh, yeah, let's do a little nose cone action. Aerodynamics nose cone. Okay, then struts. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. The patrons go. No, that's. Oops, those are. Those are the. Zoom out. Flaps that. These guys go up there. Get rid of that stage. Okay, so rockets plus boosters. Ditch the boosters. Ditch this the uh, the five rocket stage. Probably. Yeah, what could go wrong? Uh, maybe I'll, let's see. I it flipped over. When did it flip over? I guess the uh, center of mass moved, maybe? I guess we could try this before I uh, add a bunch of fins. Okay, zippy. Core launch. What's ideal thrust weight? More than one. Oh, cool. I wonder, is it bigger than the pad now? <laughs> Did it just auto collide into the launch tower? Get out of here. Or is it just too big and w okay this camera the camera uh several of the things that i thought were fixed are definitely not fixed why is what happened okay, the whole thing fell apart uh, i don't know why let's try one more time there are a lot this is the only launch pad there are other launch pads, but I think they function the same way. And I don't know if you can use different ones. I don't. Can you? I guess you can. Probably pick. Actually, I haven't tried that. 
Vessel lost control. Why did we lose control? Did it? Is it because it like it's bumping into this ladder? Nice camera. Camera bug still in effect. It is too big. Like it's the boosters on this. Oh, this the strut just broke. Uh, this one seems okay. This one, I think it's bumping into the ladders. Okay, what if I just try to shift? Oh, okay. You see here? The ladder is farther away, so it's not bumping into it. Yeah, it's just bumped into uh, the, the little railing. Railing thing? That's what I mean, not ladder. The railing sort of is in, is hitting that. Same thing over here. Could I use an airstrip? Probably. Yeah. That's probably easier. I guess you can't. Let's, um, because I haven't tried this, let's just see what the other ones look like, if they're identical or not. Yep. Problematic. Okay, yeah, they... Okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can add the holders, uh, or I can just lift the boosters up slightly. We're still really close to the launch tower, though. It doesn't seem to, like, offset us. And I, I don't know if those, uh... The launch... The, like, the launch struts you can add will help. Let's try the airstrip first. Or the boat launch. Design a sea dragon. Okay. What could go wrong? It's nighttime. Five, four, three, two. What happened? What? Because I fast forwarded. <laughs> KSP one has warped sunrise. I think it. I fast forwarded with a big wacky ship, and uh, it does not like that. Especially when we're um, in the atmosphere and, and stuff. Lost can. We're not. We're not even. It's the VAB. Go away. Okay, so then we leave that there. We go to Space Center, and I'll just fast forward from here. Pro strats. Okay. This is gonna... It's gonna work. Okay, before it explodes, blast off. Liftoff. Rotating slightly or no? Maybe not. Strange launch, edge of the runway. Well, this is too big for the launch pad. Okay, careful there, slowly. Very slowly, slowly, slowly. Easy there, easy there! No, no, no! Okay, maybe I'd... Shoot, what'd I do? Put some fins on it? Whoa! Bit of a shimmy? Not much. Uh, we don't have a ton... We have a little bit of gimbal. Not enough to counter all that, right? Plus the boosters. Okay, I can... Let's fire long enough to uh, stage the boosters. Spin around in a circle here. What could go wrong? You. All right. Let's 
Spinning is a good trick. I don't know why it's giving these lost control warnings after we get back to the VAB. <laughs> so weird. Okay, uh, fins. Dat Fredster. Thanks for Dat Sub. Okay, we have fins. We are using the... The Mammoth. It's only got three degrees of gimbal. Okay, one more try. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and... Do we need to save this? I'll go ahead and save it. Basically the same, I just added fins. Save. It's all the fuel for the main rockets in the hydrogen tank. The main what do you what do you consider main rockets? Uh 5031 uh liftoff. It's dancing? That's that was just the um the fins like auto stabilizing. We in a funny camera mode here. Are you in a funny camera mode, friend? That's not 90. 90 is over here. Oh my god. Yo, take it easy. Oh, it's... Okay, we're getting a lot of wobble here. I can add struts from the nose cone to the body that would help that. Auto ground, okay. And lift off. No more wibbles. Wabbling fixed. Ninety degrees off. I guess because I started on the runway, maybe. Let me go ahead and rotate while I've got the aerodynamics of the fins. Yo, yo, yo! Don't, don't go crazy. Is it still wobbly? And I'm trying to look at the nav ball. I don't see it flexing on that point anymore, not as much anyway. 
10,000 meters. I'd like to turn over more, please. Slowly. Don't hit that pin. Okay. Not phallic, it's a rocket. What do you expect? All rockets are phallic. Get over it. It's going to aerodynamics. Look it up. Okay, we're at. I can definitely turn over now. Just slowly. We're at 120. I don't care if it's a big orbit. I just want to get it into orbit. We can refine it later. Turns out we we have like way more fuel than we need actually. Well, actually, okay, pitch down then. I stage here the uh, these things will deorbit at least. A uh, rocket fire. Maybe like 120 periapsis, something like that. Whoop, orbital. Uh, we have achieved orbit. Yeah, turns out we can get it into space. Uh. Okay, they didn't fix that. Oh, did I hit? Oh. Well, I guess that's all right. That's fine. Um, if I deorbit this, or if I, I mean, if I stage it. Here, uh, rotate to that way. Are you rotating? You're not, because I need to gimbal to do that. Apparently that bug is still there. I could put a tiny little AI on this somewhere and then just um, control it after the stage and deorbit it, I guess. Or we could use the. We could just put this thing back into orbit after we decay the orbit. How close am I to my periapsis? We are past it. Okay, but anyway, we're in orbit right now, and I've been live three hours plus. So I think we'll do a stand-up and stretch break. That's right. And we got a little uh, clip show we can do. Is it noticeably better? The lag and whatnot? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it, 
Seems that way, but it could just be okay right now. It's hard to tell. I don't have enough experience with the game to say if it's better or worse or the same. All right, I'm gonna go get a snack, stand a stretch, get a drink. I'll be back in a few minutes. What? Ooh, sad. Sad one. What? Yeah, there's a. I heard about this bug. It's a bug. Have I made the dueling, dueling, dueling chairlifts yet? No, I haven't. I, I could have done it in this park, but I didn't start out with them. I only got them recently. I still have yet to make that. I will one day. And this is actually the right height to finish. All right, that's a hell of a long track. So I will make it one lap. There we go. Look at that craziness. Why do you make the go-karts so big? What do you mean they're not supposed to be? I can do anything I want. I make them so big because they're awesome. I mean, look at this setup. It's crazy. Seven coasters and seven coasters and a go karts in this screen. I look forward to it. Hey, buddy, we got your mimic blood. I will enjoy something strange. I do have some. Okay, there's your mimic blood. I took the liberty of digging out the sword earlier. Rather prophetic of me, don't you think? Here you go. 19,000 experience and an item. Add this to the golem and it'll be complete. Sweet. I guess. Good for you. Mwa. Stone golem. Awake, my creature. Hear my command. What's wrong here? No, stay back. I command you. Father. Father. Well, what happened? Oh! Stone Golem. Uh-oh. What should we do? Let's take a look at the sword we got. It is a short sword, Il Bratha, plus one mirror image once per day. That is a piece of crap sword. Well, I guess we'll sell it later. Whatever, somebody carry it around. Is this stone golem gonna lose this fight? What do you know? I think he's gonna lose. I thought the wizard, oh, his protections are getting diminished here. Oh, place your bets. Badly injured. I don't think Jermian's taking uh, any damage at all. Uh oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, you're in trouble now. The nice robe you've got, it would be a... be terrible if something were to happen to you. Uh, oh, hi! Oh, he hey, did. Father. Oh, father. Colette, what has happened? Duh, duh, it was terrible. 
one of father's creations. It turned on him. I never met any father. Your heart, my love, ah, bah, bah. Okay. Pride killed him. Good. All right. Get out of here, you two. I need to rob it. Yes. Now we can rob everything. Sweet. Look at all these things we can rob. Okay. Yoshimo. Look for the trap. The foot Pick up his that. body stuff. A lot of money. Huh. He didn't have anything on him, technically. I can't pick up his robe or anything. Maybe the uh, the golem just punched his uh, robe out of existence or something. A gem and some money. One gold. Wow. Some spells. And a shelf. Montage music. Montage music. Montage music. Montage music. We are living it up here under the sea up there. What do they got? A lot of sand. We got a hot crustacean band. We are going to do a little bit of work on the base today. Man, this base is really turning out fantastic. I love just sort of floating around here and uh, entering my zen state, basically. Kind of like Luke Skywalker, but without disappearing. We've got a lot of fishies in these tanks. We're going to diversify them once we... Once I think I have all the eggs, I guess. Uh, I suppose we probably could even start making at least one of them into a biome with the uh, the stalkers and a few of the other less um, snarly-toothed fish. They gotta get all the way to there. There's gonna be so many belts. We gotta make them look nice. They gotta be streamlined. They gotta... They gotta... Oh boy. All of a sudden, I think I've lost... My sense of motivation. Oh ho, woe is me. Wait, 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 stop. Cut that out. That's not gonna cut it. We're gonna need way more than that. Galactic Omega levels of juice. Here we go. Let's go. Do it! 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 Yeah, we can do it. Just do it! Do it! Do it! Yeah, we can do it! Wow, it worked. I mean, heh, yeah, of course it worked. Easy game, really. Some people might call it cheese, but I consider manipulating the psychedelic properties of power slugs to be creative use of in-game mechanics. So, to summarize, the miners are mining, the belts are belting, the belts get bundled, the bundles go up to the base, the base gets the stuff, the machines make other things, the other things make other things, and all those things go up to the top, to the very tippy top, where they make the last thing, the turbo motor, finally! And those turbo motors are getting tossed right in the garbage. Four, three, two, one, go! Oh, it didn't work. Bye-bye. We didn't need you. Oh. Oh, we're gonna tip over. It didn't work. Oh, we're going that way. Launch. Launch. <laughs> whoa. 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 Oh, so much lag. So much lag. Let's try that again. No! Oh, that was even worse. What did I do? Okay, stage, 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 oh my god, <laughs> stage, stage, that was unsuccessful, <laughs> that was unsuccessful, okay, we lost some, but it's kind of working, okay, whatever, release, next stage, oh, so much lag, can this get off the ground, can it get off the ground, can it get off the ground, no, no, Nope. Only lost one. Look how off balance that puts me. That's crazy. What? 
Yes! 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 Fly, my... My minion! <laughs> oh, my creation! Fly! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's working. Let's go full throttle. Now that we've... St stabilized this... Spider's rat's nest of struts and reinforcements. Basically, I added three or four extra struts connecting each of these to one of the little blow-off valve thingies, uh, little release whatevers. And I also, in addition to all of the... Um, oh, wow. Okay. Well, now we're starting to go sideways. In addition to all of the ones connected to each other. Uh, let's try and... Let's go straight up, please. Straight up, please. Let's see if I can actually steer this thing. I kind of doubt it. That's fine. Um... I think maybe after this, because this has been such a headache to get to work, I'm actually going to try to make something efficient. <laughs> oh, and we're going so sideways. No, I'm trying to resist it. Let's just launch. Next stage. Next stage, please. Oh, and they're just exploding all over above us. Correct. Oh, and this one is so much more maneuverable. Look at that. Go straight up. Okay, let's throttle down, though. We don't want that overheating. So that <laughs> that bought us like an extra kilometer of, of vertical trajectory or whatever. We're not accelerating, though. We need to accelerate. Now we're accelerating. Lovely. Straighten up. And we need to correct <laughs> our trajectory or, or whatever, the direction we're going in. Our, um, what's that called? There's a word for it. I'm forgetting it. Doesn't matter. Oh, my. So, yeah, that's kind of um, a waste. It's too much weight. I'm going to have to think of something else. The problem is that uh, the game lags out so hard, adding all that complexity. I may have to, maybe I'll make the whole thing just out of these guys. And forget the little boosters, because we could do more with less, perhaps, I'm thinking. Um, so we'll see. Um, my, my next uh, iteration of rocket design, I think this one is actually fairly successful. Although it doesn't want to fly straight. I may actually try something a little more minimal next. Uh-oh, we're gyrating. That's not good. Why are we doing that? Stop it. Stop doing that, please. Shboosh! Look at that! And fire! Okay, let's start going. We need to start going sideways. Let's aim for the horizon. We're already at 18,000. We're kind of off schedule. Let's put on the RCS. Go this way, buddy. Let's go, let's go north, yeah. Let's go north. Why not? And spin back around. Spin around. No, not that way. Spin the other way. Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. And we are overheating a bit. So let's throttle back. We're still accelerating. We're getting out of the atmosphere. Uh, let's just stay like that for a moment. Look at this <laughs> planet. is becoming a mess. Okay. We're still climbing nicely. Oh, wow. So laggy. Yeah, I think I'll try something with fewer p overall parts next time. <laughs> Turbo motors are a highly advanced industrial product involving many advanced alloys and represent the pinnacle of industrial design. They are produced here. Oh uh, crap, this is a 15 minute clip. Large factory where many different processes All right, are I got to cut it off. I'm cutting it off. Turbo motors are used in a number of applications including industrial mining drills, all-terrain off-road recreational vehicles, Automated truck delivery systems. Ambulatory bulbous aliens. Trains. And more. The complicated manufacturing process to produce turbo motors begins here, on this tropical plateau. Here, the raw material from which aluminum is made is found. The aluminum ore, known as bauxite, no lies way. close to the surface in it the rich It is the whole thing. Earth. Yeah, it's the whole video. Industrial mining drills break up the earth and harvest the raw bauxite. Yes, those same mining drills 
Containing turbo motors. Containing turbo motors. A conveyor belt transports the raw box. <clears throat> okay. Um, what were we doing? We want. Uh, we're gonna need to go back to the periapsis. We uh, we're at the app. I may lift up the periapsis a little bit and then drop that down and deorbit the tank and leave the uh, the ship here. So we're almost at the apoapsis. Although I guess we're close enough. Doesn't matter that much. We got tons of fuel. Tabamatas. Boxite. Aluminite. Are we going to the moon? No. Paused. Unpaused. Paused and paused. I wonder what our... Uh, how do I see, like, the angle off of the... Like, the system... Whatever. Is that visible somewhere? It's... I guess if we go to Elu, we gotta adjust it anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. What about, um, and Moho's like on a wacky one too. All right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Why do we care about having debris in space? Uh, just, well, the game's already buggy enough, so. We want, I wanna lift that up. Rotate. Oh, uh, can I rotate? Are we rotating? Slowly. If I give it a little bit of juice, it'll rotate faster. I could use RCS. Did I put RC uh, RCS is on the main thing, but not on this. It would be hard to rotate it with RCS. Just to keep it relatively clean, because you, you send a bunch of stuff up, up into space, it gets cluttered real quick. This becomes visually confusing just to look at what's going on. Okay. That up to about there. Good enough. If I want to rotate back to... Well, we can rotate to periapsis... Uh, or rotate to retrograde is what I meant to say. Once we're closer to periapsis, and it won't affect our periapsis, it'll affect the apoapsis, which is fine, because we're going to kill it. Okay, go around there. Somebody said you could pin it by right-clicking. Okay. Time to periapsis is what? Minute and a half. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Pig. So, uh, point retrograde, please. Give you a little bit of juice. You can rotate. There you go. Stay on, stay on target. Stay on target. Uh, there we are. There we go. And go ahead and roll. Okay, fine. Let's get this to 100. I'll go back to the other side and deorbit 
I guess we'll deorbit on the other side. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Are we not still burning? I guess we're far enough past it. Where are we? We're right there. Oh, we're past the apoapsis. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's good. I actually went a little bit too far. Um, just go ahead and stage, I guess. Wait a second. That's that. That's fine. Goodbye. Okay, now, RCS on. SAS on. Look at that rotation. Nice. Wait, hang on. Lights activate. Okay, RCS off. Where are we? Uh, oh, we're already past our point. Okay, we need to lift our apoapsis up. Periapsis, rather. Okay. Whoa, what happened? Did I just crash into my fuel tank? I can't... Your fu What the... F I can't... Oh, escape doesn't... Oh, my God. <laughs> Unpaused. What happened? I was in this screen. I must have... I must have crashed into it, right? Is that... That's the only way... Thing that would make sense. Yeah, game's totally fixed. Okay, uh, if we do it again, do I need... To, I mean, it worked. I definitely had way more fuel than I needed. Did I press delete? That's I don't think so. Prime. You're moving out in seven hours. You haven't finished packing. Ooh, that's, a, that's an oopsie. You're panicking. Uh, okay, well, you got boxes. <laughs> Start. Uh, what you need to do is you need to um, compartmentalize. So start with something manageable. Instead of like, I need to pack everything, be like, I'm going to pack up the stuff in this closet, or I'm going to pack up my bed sheets. Start with a smaller s section. Work on things piece by piece. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Uh, well, the rocket worked. I did want to just get that thing into orbit. Everything was fine until something exploded when I was in the map. I don't know what... Look at this notification critical. We're in the VAB. Yeah, everything's fine. We can just do it again. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Exactly. I guess we just do it again. It worked. I mean, it's more... It's definitely more fuel, like Delta V, than we need to get the thing into orbit, but it doesn't have to be... I mean, we're not NASA. It doesn't have to be, like, on a budget. There's no budget. There's no budget in the game yet. There's no tech tree, no nothing. Okay, there. Try it again. Scoopers. Rotating to 90, so we can tip east in the way I typically do it. Ooh, easy there. Easy there, friend. Mm. It's a wibbly-wobbly one. It's a whip whoa 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 All right. No, no, don't go, don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. You worked the first time. Everything just works. Yo! 
<laughs> it's, it's a little warm. I can't look at the actual rocket. I've got it, my eyes are focused on the nav ball. So like if something weird's happening on it, I can't actually look at it to see. Ninety degrees, friend. It is like when I try to tweak it, it bucking like a Bronco. Like, in terms of, like, how fast, how much it rotates, the actual rocket is fine. Which is when I try to rotate it, it rotates a lot. Easy there, friendo. Good, pretty good. Slow down there. Woohoo! Woohoo! Should deorbit. That's good. Don't lose those in a few seconds. And we're getting pretty high up there. Pretty high up there, you know. Oh my gosh. Uh. Well, yeah, let's just finish her off. Finish her up. Four hundred. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do. Goodbye, rockets. What's the exclamation point? Oh, that's where we're going to hit. If nothing changes. What do I think of the bug patch? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. The frame rates seem a little bit better. The maneuver node's a little bit better, but it's still pretty janky overall. Pretty janky experience. TBH. Okay, uh, prograde, please. Or feather. Am I enjoying playing? Yeah. I was enjoying playing before. So that's kind of not the, not the best metric. It it's uh it's still got some jank, maybe a little bit less jank. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm in trouble. Maybe because I was low throttle. I've only got a little bit of gimbal with this rocket. Just want to get it up to right there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Like, uh, something like that. Something like that. Let's go up to 90. 90. Okay, this tank is, like, totally full. We've got so much more fuel than we need. Wasn't there a destroy button in the tracking building? There is. Yeah, you can just destroy the uh, 
the debris. It's just, uh, it's a little bit more interesting to try to do it with the actual orbital mechanics, though. I don't know if that button will be there forever either. Like, once there's, um, the tech tree to unlock and stuff, is it still going to let you just destroy debris? Maybe. But it's more fun to try to deorbit things. But the, I mean, the game is about orbital mechanics. So that just gives you more more ways to fiddle around with orbital mechanics. Like right there, there's there's the uh, the booster right there, or the the rockets. We just um, I think that's them. That's a weird trajectory what they're doing right there. Okay, we need to be facing pro grade, dude. How far away is this? Three minutes. Oh, no, wait, no, we want to be facing retrograde. I want to bring that down. Down to the ground. So, I could actually, yeah, we can do that. We don't have to wait. It's good enough. Okay, retrograde. Uh, you know what, I can... How do I turn that off? Stop. Lock? I'll do that. Uh... How do I disable that so it, I can have full control again? I can turn SAS off and on. I guess the lock gives me control. So we're going to tip this down to about 65-ish and then stage the tank. And then we'll put ourselves back into orbit, I guess. With the... Uh... Let's see, where's our... Yeah, we're obviously well past the... Apoapsis because of or the periapsis. We're changing stuff so radically. Alright, deorbit this sucker. Okay. Uh periapsis is in front of us. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay. Boom. There goes our fairing. Boom. There goes that. Okay, now. RCS on. Face prograde. Get your nose back in the air, sir. Try not to crash into your fuel tank this time, idiot. It is, yeah, That's that must have been what I did, because I was deorbiting, I went prograde, and then I turned right around and boosted again. Let me go off to the side a little bit. <laughs> RCS is on, right? Is it? I don't see the little poof, poof. crash into the second stage. Could I cut that whole tank? Yeah, probably. Seems that way. Definitely. It would um, help the thrust to weight ratio at the beginning as well. It would make it a very squat ship, which would make it more prone to flipping. What happened there? What was that? Default name? What is that? What is that? What's what happened? I don't know what that was.
Something, it looked like it just flew right off, right off. What the? What is this line? What is that line? I can't tell what that is. Like something, I wonder, it was like it flew off my, um... I don't know why something would fly off of the ship. Spontaneously like that. Oh, this... Okay, this still happens. Look at how I affected... Just by... Oh, my God. Very serious game. Why did that flip everything around so much? That, that was definitely a thing before. Apparently, it's still a thing. Um, okay, I need to, like, do a rotate. Let me see if I can figure out the button for that. It's not those. LK, JK, LJ. Oops. Guess that. Is the solar panel broken? Oh, I think it broke the solar panel. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, the game still needs some work. I want to rotate like that, and then... There we go. But then it just rotates... When I try to go forward, it just rotates me back to the... I don't want... I'm trying to rotate my character, but it just keeps like... So if I rotate like this, I rotate to the side, and then I hit forward to go forward, it just auto... It, like, resets me. So, I, I guess we'll just, uh... Attach like this. Probably works fine. Okay, looks like we broke a solar panel, though. By, uh, leaving... Where's the door? The door is here. And by e doing an EVA, the whole ship, like, flipped around. This ship weighs, like, 50 tons. And Bob Kerman does not. So getting out of the cockpit, or out of the hatch, or whatever... Should not have done that. This same same thing happened when we landed on the moon in the first stream. What solar is this one? Look at it. Or is it just rotating to hit the sun? It's the only one rotated. Do they rotate? It's not even... Let's see if they fix. Maybe, maybe they adjust to uh, get a better angle of the sun, but why is that the only one doing that? It looked like it was broken, because it was the only one at a weird angle. Maybe it's okay. Okay, maybe it's fine. False alarm. But if they're trying to adjust to the sun, why is that the only one doing that? Okay, turn RCS off. Uh, we don't need SAS either. I guess we can have SAS because we have solar panels and that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, now there are multiple. Of... Maybe that was the only one that was working. Maybe the other ones were broken. But uh, in the first stream, I landed on the moon and I, I clicked EVA, and my little lander flipped over. I'm like, oh, is it so small that I imbalanced it, or is it just a bug? I'm pretty sure it's just a bug, because. 
going into EVA, it shouldn't have sent the thing spinning like that. What is this symbol? That's, um... Anti-normal. Okay, uh, anyway. We're in orbit, but just barely. We passed the periapsis. Once we get up to... Apoapsis, we'll lift it a bit. We'll circularize a little bit. Now that we can rotate properly. Resource manager. I guess I... This says 7,000 delta V. I don't think that's right. I think it's only taking one of the tanks into account. We should have, like, double that, at least. Lack of stellar exposure. Oh no. Okay, uh, face, um, the apsis of Perry. Or, uh, prograde, I mean. That's what I mean. Look at that wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. So I guess we'll go to like 100k. Flatten out around there. All right, that's good enough. All right. Then we go back to periapsis, drop the apoapsis. And then we just need to uh, fly up here and dock a lander, basically. Is that the moon? That's the moon. Oh, I guess I've got a, I can see the satellite orbit. I think that's what that is. One minute thirty. All right. <clears throat> where are you going? No, no, no. Stay, stay where you were. Stay where you were. It won't rotate like that uh, when it's in time warp. So we're trying to. I guess I'll just leave it in lock to keep it from rotating when we're done. Boom. Okay. RCS off. Vessel is in orbit. Can I see what's in this stupid tank? Come on. Um, okay, maybe I look in. I know there's a way to f transport, uh, transfer fuel. There we go. No, okay, they're draining from them equally. Hmm, so it says I have 7,000. I guess 7,000 is a pretty good amount of delta V. I guess. Maybe it's enough. As long as we don't make the lander too huge. It is draining from both. So, okay. And we just need to... Is that docking port on the right way? I think so. Hope so. <laughs> it better be. So do we go to uh, Elu or Moho? We could do either. 
Is Moho more exotic because it's closer to the sun? Okay, Bob. I meant to add extra people in there, but I forgot. Okay, um, KSP, please. A wrap a dap. Wrap a dap a doop a dap. I guess we're not gonna have a. Uh, I, my original thought was to have like three or four or five or however many pieces to assemble in orbit all ref roughly the same size so we can use the same rocket to send everything to space but uh, I don't know if that's really going to be viable we can still use the same rocket so let's load that Oh, well, that's going to be even more overkill than it already is. Alright, there's the launch vehicle. I guess I could save just that, right? The only thing we need to be concerned with here is let me just figure out the side the, the 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 decoupler this is large one no medium medium okay medium decoupler okay then we grab this fella The center there. Uh, zippy. Just the launch. Saved. Alright, so then we'll start with medium. Looks similar to the power and propulsion element NASA's going to put around the moon in a few years. Yeah, they consulted with me and I, I gave them a few pointers. I said, uh, make it look pretty cool, nice color, and then put some boosters on that thing. They were like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, scribble, scribble, taking notes. Ideally, we want this not to weigh too much. This weighs half what that weighs. Although this still weighs less than this thing. The gumball is almost three tons. It's not like it's brain surgery. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, put a b explosive crap, fire it at the sky. Uh, what's so hard about that? All right, we'll do this one. Why not? Um, this one we'll put the... Wait, how much do you uh, hold? I guess if there's one... If we launch with one, we can hypothetically put the other guy in here and they can land with it so we can put some parachutes on it. It's got to be the side deploy ones. Uh, does it say, like, how much mass it can successfully bring to the ground? Do I need these? Uh, 
I could probably do not that one. This if I do four. I could do two, but it might imba it might be imbalanced and like wobble too much. If I do four, that should that's probably pretty good. Pretty good. And they weigh very little. Okay. Battery. Twelve point five kilonewton reaction wheel already built in. That adds an extra thirty. I'm just gonna put RC at that's it's probably overkill. Don't need all that crap. Uh, we do need a decoupler. the eventual I guess we're gonna we don't need this is a battery we don't need that in there for the for the landing we're not going into atmosphere I don't think but I, pr I think we'll probably still use methalox instead of hydrogen because they're um Maybe hard. Like if I go to Tylo or some other relatively high gravity place, maybe tricky. Large. Nine tons of fuel. Good. Three K. Okay, so let's say, uh, let's go back to the trip planner. So we're going to Moho. We're going to do the intercept low orbit. We need 900 and we need like 2k to get back to the ship. To the mothership, whatever. So technically that's already fine. Okay. I want to make it... I was thinking like, can I put some wheels on this sucker and make it a rover at the same time? Then, uh, if I did, like, the fuel tank doesn't really work. Because, uh, if I, if I want, I would like a little bit more fuel. I could do something like this. And then I can anchor the wheels on those. What about the... Adapters. I bet we can do a... Oh, wait. Which This is the battery? No, that's the... That goes on top. That's the docking port. Clamp. Uh, what am I looking for? Coupling. Adapter. Adapter. Oh, look at that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Then I put four little fuel tanks on there, I guess. Do 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 Three little bops. Bopping around. Oh, that's methane, genius. Okay, that's not methane. This is the ship over here, not that wheel. 
2.3k. I'd like to be in the 3.5k club. These guys hold two point. I guess it's because it's pretty much the same amount of. I just used a adapter, but it's about the same amount of fuel. Two point two five versus. What did I put on there before? This thing. That's nine. Trash. That is the only multi clamp thingy. <clears throat> You know, this one is slightly rectangular. That would help me with the wheels. Three K. A little derpy looking. We need mirror symmetry for this. Are those the wheels we want? Do 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 do. We get mid ones. Mid ones weigh 0.4 tons. These weigh 0.1 or large. Those are too big. Mid. That's probably too big as well, even though they're cool. Uh, I could probably... I wonder if I can make this more... A little bit more rectangular still with, uh... A structure. too big. That's uh right, maybe small. There. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, then we'll just uh tweak that a little bit. So that's like there we go. Yeah, like that. Delightful. Let me take these fellas. Perfect. Uh, do I even need landing gear? We got wheels. I guess the wheels are... They've got like shocks, right? They are like landing gear. Okay, so... I'm gonna do... Let's align it with that line right there. One, two, three, four, five. So 
slightly off, but close enough. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, thrust to weight 1.2. Can you repair wheels? I'm gonna guess no. That sounds impoppable. Did my thrust to weight not change? Or did it go one foot there did it go down? Are these things terrible? One forty. They weigh point eight tons. Maybe they're too heavy. Yeah, my th oh, it went down. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's better with really, with just one pair. Daddy. Oh wait, were they? Oh, I see what's happening with the stages. Never. Oh, dang it. Okay. Undo. 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 Okay, now it's fixed. 3.3, .3, that's quite high, so probably only... 2.4, that's, that's... That's real good. Lord Terry Nix, thanks for 107 months! Thanks very much! Wait, 100 and s divided by 6... 69. I'm like... Oh, no, wait. There's still at least one more left. Never mind. Everything's fine. That is a derpy looking rover. So we got the docking port. This is vehicle is missing RCS. Yes. Yes. Okay, RCS tank. Monoprop. That's too big. Five tons will get us. 4.5 tons of monoprop. This is only a tiny amount. Where's the door here? It's back there. Definitely don't want our Kerbals exploding against the door. Best lander ever. Uh, then I need the. Uh, where are they? Utility RCS. We can use these ones for this, I guess. Oh, where am I going to put them, though? Um, where do I want these? They have the same amount of thrust.
all-purpose thruster. Very small. It'll be simpler if I just use these. Need to not be in the way of that clamp. I might have to... Hmm, I kind of want them right where the parachutes are. I, I guess I can probably move the parachutes down. Or maybe we just need the two parachutes. Maybe four is overkill. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? They crash into the ocean or like... Ter at terminal velocity? Who cares? Okay, and then here, we put two there, two there, boom. Okay, uh, battery charge, and solar panels, technically probably could get away without, don't really need solar panels. We can put a couple of these on here. Okay. And solar panels. Small and also small. Difference. These ones have a little housing they collapse into. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. There you go. Solar panels. Blip, blip. Okay, batteries, solar panel, monoprop, fuel, monoprop, thrusters, uh, parachute, 2.27 delta V. Is there googly eyes? The, uh, the, yeah, they kind of all have googly eyes. That was like the first thing they added. 2.27. Will it be enough? Yeah, seems like enough to go to the surface and back. And if not, they can always be stranded there for all eternity. So that's, that's always an option. Am I missing anything? I think that's probably good. Named Johnny Five. Okay, uh, so the other one was what? Uh, Zippy. This is a lander. What did I? Okay, where is it? Zippy and Caps. Zippy 1.0 lander. Save. Okay, so with this here already, I want to bring in the launch thing. Launch. Merge. Ah, okay. Oh, this will need a decoupler, right? Um, I guess I'm going to flip it. We will be control. Oh, no, if I flip it, controlling it's going to invert. 
There's already a decoupler in there. Okay. Um, eyeball. Whop. Okay, and then like that. I guess I need to. I gotta. I can't. I don't think I can go. I just have to delete these parts. Uh huh. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> can I edit this thing? Oh my god. Come on, game. Game is not happy. I want to edit the fairing. What what is it doing? All right, click on something else. How about I take that out of there? Click. It's not letting me do things. X. There. Did I kill it? Okay. Okay, turn the eyeball off. That's so distracting. I would like to edit this now, please. Can I do that now? Oh man, it was working. I just need the little tweakable. How do I do it? How do I get it? There. Okay. Boom. Okay. So, uh, I guess we... Oh, um... That's... Oh, great. Okay. Put one up there. Up there, please. Parachute last. It combined all of the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That... Okay, okay, okay. That is the decoupler for the command capsule to separate it from the rest of the lander. Those go there. This separates from the rocket. This separates the fairing. That's the rocket there. Okay, this is going to be... The other one was overkill. This one's going to be like a super duper overkill. Do we still have to launch the planes? I don't. I actually haven't messed around with planes today, so I'm not sure. Uh, lander. Launch. Lander launch. Save. Okay. Um, oh, we got to launch from the run. Launch. We have to launch from runway. 
And we also have to take into account, um... Don't remember the timing exactly. We're here. I think the uh, this thing needs to be... Is it like directly overhead when we launch? To dock. It's been so long since I had to dock anything. Try it. It's a little bit behind. Let's see how that goes. Um, vehicle assembly building. It reverted to launch pad one. Fabulous. All right. Uh, hopefully, everything's fine. Guess we'll see. Have you noticed improvements? It's hard to say. There's definitely still lots of jank. Uh, the frame rate seems a bit better. The maneuver nodes are a little bit better, but overall, I have no idea. There's still, uh, I've still noticed, like, some of the bugs that uh, were annoying me previously are definitely still there. Shut up with your lack of stellar exposure alert. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Oh, we're rotated again. Rotate! Because we took off on the runway. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Really like to rotate. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Stop rotating. Stop it. It's because I've got so many um, fins. When you tell it to rotate, it's like, okay. I can do that. Does this have the... Uh, are we missing the... Uh, look, look at it wobbling. It's missing some struts. I imported the ship, but it's missing some struts. Maybe I didn't save those? Pretty sure I did. No, they're there. Look at, see them? But they weren't there on the launch, which is maybe just a bug. Cool. Okay, are they on the ship? No, they're gone. See, look, they're gone. Okay, I need to reapply them or something. I mean, they're, the uh, the anchors are there, but the actual strut connection is not there. Drawer by drawer helps a lot. Nice. Did I not say VAB? What the heck? What happened? Where's my ship? Hey! Uh, I want lander launch. This one. Load. Bloop. Okay, then we'll go back to uh, tracking station. Oh, I can't do that. 
Not allowed. Didn't revert, I just left, yeah. Okay, it's a little bit past. Uh, let's fast forward. We're gonna be in the night. Okay, let's go to the to morning. So I can see. Daylight. Okay, we'll try to do like right about there. That's like directly overhead if we launch right away. And nothing breaks. From the runway. Recover. Oh. Recover. Oops. Select. Launch. My struts are there. Okay, stop wobbling. Fire. Red up a top. On target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Alright. Flip over. Well, not don't flip. Just uh, meander in this direction. Do some meander. There you go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Control. Whoa. I guess the uh, center of mass is quite a bit lower on this one because the payload is way smaller. The payload for the other one was like 55 tons and this one is much less. What is the thrust to weight ratio? I didn't look, I don't know. Uh, enough. Easy there, easy there, friendo. Take it easy. Oh my god. It's a wild one. It's a wild one. Oh my god. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> this one's a, it's a little bit harder to control. Because there's not nearly as much weight at the top. We're about to lose the boosters, which should help. Because they, they're not gimbling at all. Be a little bit easier to control in a second here. Beep. Get you. Uh, what's that one at? Like a hundred K?
That's just prime. Dr. Tara, thanks for the sub. Thanks very much. So, uh, the... This thing is the, uh... The ship, and this thing is our current prograde. I'm trying to get them to match up a bit. If I can do it. Our Apple apps are going down though, though, so that's not good. Now it's going up. Need to go slightly north of east. Oop. Cut that engine. Your apoapsis. Vehicle intercepts. Uh, you know what? We're not worried about intercept just yet. Let me actually... Um, I'll just leave that there, actually. I might just put it in a bigger orbit and wait for them to line up. Just I, I haven't docked in a long time, so it's probably going to be a bit slow. Plus, we've got, like... I need to get rid of these tanks. I suppose we can go ahead and stage that now and let that decay, right? Okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Please don't crash into me or the other ship. Yeah, we're going to not worry about this intersection. We'll go up to Apoapsis. Circularize the orbit, and then I'll pull it back down to be uh, close to the... Uh, I guess we'll be going slower. Right now, we're behind it. Okay, so then I need to fire now, actually. So, go... Where are we? We're at the app, so yeah, we need to fire prograde. I need to bring periapsis up. We are we're in orbit. Oh, I think I may be getting confused. No, there's my apoapsis. Um, we need to fire retrograde to bring the apoapsis down and like fire. Us. I don't know. Um, I know there's like I could just fire in a certain direction and wing it, but I'm probably gonna screw it up. Maybe we can wing it. I have enough fuel. Okay, go this way. Reaction wheels. Yeah, I didn't add any. Uh, I've got tons of fuel, and the the vessel in here has RCS. Now that we're going to crash, but we're still... Yeah, it's too much of a pain in the neck. All right, we'll just go... We'll, we'll go to here. It's going to be time-consuming, but that's all right. I was going to try to fix it, but I was making it worse. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now we fire... I want to go uh, prograde. Do cut it off at around. Where are you going, Rocket? Okay, uh, let, give me control. You're screwing it up. Where are you going? 
Do I not have Vectrine on this sucker? Why are you going back there? Stop. Well, I, I meant to go into lower, but um, it was like, it's not responding to me, even though I'm... The rocket has gimbling. But we can go back here and then circularize it a bit. See where we are. We're going to be going slower. I was going to lower the periapsis, but we can do this in stages. I guess maybe for this kind of thing, it would be easier if I had uh, RCS on the tank itself. Be able to rotate easier. Because I'm having to use the engine itself to rotate. Okay, face um that way. Wait. No. <laughs> face this way. Now rotate. You're rotating? Yes. Yeah. I guess it gimbals, but not a ton. There we go. Okay. It's just slow. You build up enough momentum swinging around and it overshoots. Okay, so we are behind. We need to get into a smaller orbit and catch up. So this one's at like 100. We'll go down to 84. This is um rip inclination. Well, I think it, that that's like a small thing. In the future, next time I build one of these launch uh, platforms, I would think a little bit more about this stage of the of the pr process. Because not being able to rotate without using the engines is kind of hard to keep your uh, maneuver like your your orbit precisely where you want it to be. Then face retrograde. You know, the other ship has way more fuel. Uh, I could use that to get close to this one instead of the other way around. It's got a bunch of RCS and stuff. This one has RCS. If we get close, I guess it doesn't matter which we use. Okay, don't overshoot so hard. Oh, you overshot it. I, okay, no more using the automatic system. Look what it did. It went crazy. <laughs> You're going way fast. Just, am I hitting the wrong button? To slow it down. Am I speeding it up? Stop rotating. Stop. I was hitting the wrong button. Perfect. Now we're leaving orbit. Good. Yeah, this is, this is a nightmare. We need a better way to rotate. Uh, and I need to face apoapsis pretty quickly, or uh, face prograde quickly. Otherwise. Stop rotating. Stop it! Go back! Go back! Okay, I definitely need to be hitting W to slow it down. This engine has like very little gimbling and it's making it real hard to control. Slow down! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop spitting! Just don't fall out of orbit. We're in orbit now. Just cut the end. All right, you know what we can do is um, ditch the fairing. Goodbye. 
Nice orbit. RCS on. See if I can use this RCS. Not what I wanted to use it for. I guess uh, we definitely had enough fuel that like a little bit extra weight wouldn't be a big deal to put a big reaction wheel on the bottom and top of this tank. God, the inclination is total nightmare. <laughs> okay, uh, great. I need to fix that. I, I'm going to start using maneuver nodes, actually. Let's do that, because all the rotating is like totally screwed us up. I don't need one for here. We need to get back into orbit. Then I'll do a maneuver note after that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Prograde is... Here, probably... I'm rotating the ship. I guess I have a bit of SAS, not a lot. I do have some control. I guess now that we've lost the fairing, we lost some some of the mass anyway, and half of the fuel tank. orbit again. So we need a maneuver node right around where they intersect. See three periapses. That's confusing. Orange is the maneuver node. Need to get up to the gray. Okay, orange. Orange, you glad? Eight second burn. pretty close. Okay, uh, that's in six minutes. Burn time, ten seconds. 
Is the interface more confusing? There's definitely, they've pushed a lot of the information into a smaller area. There is a lot of information going on. Okay, we need to be at this one. Let me get over to the node. Rotate. Rotate. Wait, is that my maneuver node or is that my target? Which one's which? Okay, let me untarget this thing. Is that what I'm clear target? Ah. So we want what the it's not the blue one. What does it look like? It's this. Okay, where is it? Move to move to that. There it is. Okay. Down that way. Go down. Down. Rotate. You're not rotating. RCS, help me out. There we go. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding. Okay. When you fast forward, it stops the rotation. So you just basically get it to the thing and hit the fast forward button. It'll stick there. When will then be now? Now. We are now, now. Okay. Delete that maneuver, sir, but don't delete the ship, please, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, there's a trash can there. That's easier. Hard to screw up. Okay, so what are we now? One, two, four, eighty-nine. Okay, okay, we're still behind, but um, I'm slowly recovering from this ridiculous train wreck. Now we just need to be in a lower orbit, and we'll just catch up over time, and then we'll just adjust our orbit up as we get close. It takes it takes longer, but it's straightforward. Okay, so we need to rotate to prograde where that is. It's over to the left. I'm just gonna like rotate wildly and hit the fast, like tap the fast forward button. It's a little cheaty, but it's a little, a little pro tip. Like the rotation is getting away from you, and you, you're in a if you're, if you're still in the middle of your launch, you can't do this, but if it's like right now, I can just go boop and arrest the rotation and start moving again. Okay, RCS. 
Help out RCS. I guess we haven't used that much RCS overall, so I guess it's cool. It's all good. RCS off. Tweak. Okay, periapsis in a minute. Uh, we did something. Hooray. back down there. RCS on. Cut the engines. Back down to prograde. We're, uh, we're right at like 93. I just want to tweak it a little bit lower and it'll be fine. It's really hard to rotate this thing. Alright. Tweak, tweak. Fire throttle is shit. Shut up, game. There. Period. Oh, we're gonna fall out of orbit. We can deal with that once we get around to the other side. We're already facing retrograde. What? On the other side, it's gonna be at prograde, so we'll just lift it back up, up right above 70. Back up to like 90 ish. Or, or somewhere above 70. Doesn't really matter. Till we get closer to our target. Right. Approaching Kerbin. What do you mean approaching Kerbin? Oh, because our technical we're not in orbit anymore. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, game. Yes, we're we are approaching Kerbin. Thanks, game. Wait, why do you keep rotating so much? You were supposed to stop at prograde. It was rotating in time warp. Maybe it can rotate in two or four times time warp. Or maybe we just weren't all the way around. It's still rotating. Stop! <laughs> stop it, gate. Oh my god! Go back! Go back! All my RCS is way up here at the top, so this is, like, quite inefficient as well. This is what happens when you can't maneuver your... rotate your rocket in space. Disaster. Just get that above 70, that's all. It's because I'm in the atmosphere. Ah. Well, right, we're at the periapsis. Oh, I see. Okay, um... Are we going up? How do I go up? Tilt up! Is that going up? No. Go up. Upwards, towards the sky. Skywards. Go that way. Go up. Why are you still decreasing in, in elevation? What the heck is happening? Stop. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll try this again next time. This is, this is my fault because the uh, it's just it's just too frustrating to try to control the thing when I can't rotate the rocket. Uh, we just need to redesign this part to have um, RCS or uh, gyroscope thingies, whichever SAS modules. This is way too annoying. It's way too annoying. This would be so much more straightforward if I could just rotate the rocket without firing the rocket. 
it would be it wouldn't be the hugest tweak either because we just need this part to have the rotation the rest that can get us into orbit no biggie we don't need it for getting into orbit we just need it once we're here but this is so annoying that uh, i just don't even want to deal with it it's like it's it's a waste of time is what it is just fix the rocket it'll be more fun next time so we've got the lander built we have the uh the interplanetary stage is in orbit here This guy is good to go. It's just hunky-dory sitting up here in a near-perfect orbit. So uh, next time we stream this, we will uh, redesign the, the launch rocket a little bit, just to have SAS probably. Put some SAS rings on there would be the simplest way to do it. Put it back in orbit and then dock them together, and then we'll, we'll go to like, uh, we'll go somewhere like Moho maybe. Okay, but uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Short stream, I got some editing I need to try to do tonight. Uh, next stream will probably be like Tuesday. Tuesday! Tuesday, uh, I'm not, I don't know if we'll play this. We may play something else. I have not decided. We'll, I'll decide on the day. I still want to play more Mountain Blade. Anyway, that's it enjoyed the stream i'll see you next time yeah let's let's end looking at this this is a uh, this feels better than that whatever that thing was okay anyway that's it see you next time bye, -bye.